Hello, another Elden Ring tip video here for you today, and this one is about increasing intelligence with hats. Now, some of you or a lot of you may already know this, but this is for those of you maybe that don't or just get the game. There are two hats that you can pick up that will increase your intelligence, but they will not come at the expense of other attributes such as like HP or FP, you know, or, uh, you know, any of the other attributes, like your stamina, something like that. It'll only increase your intelligence. And those two hats are the Empad, the cat version. I think there are three different versions of the Empad. I know there's a wolf one, and there's one other one I can't remember off the top of my head. And the other one is the Queen's Crescent Crown. Now, I'm not going to go into spoilers with the Queen's Crescent Crown. Just know, and I will show it to you, but just know that this hat gives you plus three intelligence and it doesn't come at the expense of other attributes or it doesn't decrease any of your overall stats so let's go in here to whoops let's go in here to my equipment and the first one i will show you is the queen's crescent crown now this is part of the main story so i really don't want to spoil this for those of you that you know <laughs> want this but don't want to be spoiled or those of you that don't care and don't want to be spoiled but you can see what it looks like right here I'll just kind of zoom in here and get a good look at it. You know, obviously, you might be able to figure out who it comes from by me telling you the name. You could always just search YouTube or do a Google search and, you know, go to like the, what is it, Fex Alive Wikipedia, you know, tell you where to get it, how to get it. But uh, I'm just going to show you right here my status. So you see now I have 78 intelligence. And when I unequip it, I'll go back down to 75 so I'll come down here to status and you see my intelligence is at 75. So that gives me a plus three, but it doesn't like come at the expense of like vigor, mind, endurance, strength, dexterity, faith, arcane. And that's why I like that one the best. The other one is the cat imped and that one gives you a plus two boost. I like this one. It looks really cool as well. It's right here, the imped, the cat. You can see the attributes. Uh, you notice over there, intelligence is 77. It's blue. I'll go ahead and just equip it, equip it, and then I'll go to status and then just show you intelligence 77. I started with 75 and it doesn't come at the expense of any of my other attributes. So my HP and my FP and my stamina, all that's going to stay the same, but I'm going to increase that intelligence. So it's going to make my magic that much stronger, you know, and my armament, like my right hand armament and stuff is going to increase, uh, you know, with that, with both of the hats for that matter. Now, to get the impad, you can find these at the catacombs early game. It's fairly easy. It's one of the easiest things. Also, the starting point is, let me see, where's the starting point at? Uh, down here. So you can find these in the catacombs. Like, let me find one right here. Uh, Grove Slide Cave right here, like Stormfoot Catacombs. Uh, Murkwater Cave. This is where I think I got it from. Um, so fairly easy. Like, you know, you start right here. Where do you start at? Right here, Cave of Knowledge. Basically, just follow this up until you get to the gate front. Hang a right, and then just follow the water once you pass the telescope. And then just follow the water, and you'll run right into it. Go in there. You may have to go through the cave a couple times, but it's not a hard one early game. And then it will give you that increase in intelligence, increasing your magic. It's one that I recommend. Now, I don't know of any other hat or, you know, that you can put on that increases intelligence without decreasing other attributes. If you do know of any of, a, any of those, feel free to let me know. Now, there are a couple other helmets or hats or whatever you want to refer to them as, helms, whatever, that you can wear or crowns that will increase intelligence, but they also decrease uh, things. One of those is Herodotus Grindstone Crown. And that one will increase your intelligence and your endurance, but it's going to decrease your FP. Now, as a mage, you don't want to decrease your FP, but it would be nice to have, you know, a little bit more intelligence and endurance, I guess, if you have like a different build. Um, another one is the Corallos Grindstone Crown. This one will increase your intelligence, but it comes at the cost of stamina. Other ones that will increase your intelligence, uh, the... Uh, Livinus uh, Glintstone Crown, I think I'm pronouncing that right. Um, anyway, that will increase intelligence, but it costs you HP. 
again, that's one that I, you know, I don't want to lose my HP because it's already hard enough being a mage because I don't have a lot of points, you know, into like my overall health because I have so much into intelligence already. Um, another one, oh, this one right here, the twin stage Glenstone crown. This one, I think, gives you either plus six or plus eight intelligence, but you take a huge bump to HP and stamina. So it's going to decrease it by something like 20% or something like that. Uh, somewhere right around there. I believe it's like that much. So that is a lot. Definitely don't want to do that. I mean, maybe you do. You know what I'm saying? I guess it depends, you know, how much health you have. Um, but 20% is a lot. And I think the only other one that I know of that... I think that might be the last one for... I'm looking at my notes here. I don't think I see any other one that increases intelligence. Even at the expense of other like helms or hats or helmets, whatever you would like to refer to those as. Pretty sure that's it right there. But uh, if you have any questions or comments about the two on there, uh, feel free to leave a comment. Uh, if you want to know where to get the Queen's crown from or how to do it, you can send me a DM on Twitter. It's the same username as my YouTube channel. I really don't want to post spoilers and stuff on here, or I'll try to refrain from doing that. Um, so, you know, that's why I don't want to talk about it, because it is part of the story, and I don't want to ruin it for people that just want to get an intelligence boost, you know, but not at the cost of me, you know, spoiling the game for those of, you know, those of the players that care about that um, sort of stuff. Uh, but that's the video right there. Please do a favor and give it a thumbs up. Helps the channel out a lot. You can follow me on Twitter. I post a ton of uh, Elden Ring stuff on there. Basically, it's all I tweet about on there. Anyway, I'm out. Peace.